Well, welcome back. Well, President Biden claims he has no plans to meet with Saudi, uh, the Saudi Arabian crown prince at the G20 summit next week, uh, next month, rather, after the oil-rich nation uh, claimed Biden begged them to delay production cuts until after the midterm elections. OPEC's decision to cut production by 2 million barrels a day is seen as a blow to the United States and a boost to Russia. Joining us right now is Opus Energy An Analysis Global Head, Tom Kloza. Tom, great to see you today. Thanks very much for being here. What's your take on where oil prices are going now? Well, my take is that uh, we've probably seen the worst for gasoline prices, but uh, and we may see the worst coming up for crude oil prices, but it'll probably be in 2023. I mean, you've got 50 wild days ahead of you. You've got the embargo, the European and allied embargo on uh, Russian crude on December 5th. You've got the end of SPR sales. And you've got the winter, and I understand you're going to get a dose of it. And people who buy things like oil, heating oil, diesel, kerosene, they're going to see the highest prices by far they've ever witnessed. So it's wow. a tough, uh, tough sledding in the next 50 days. All right. Well, I'm glad you laid that out that way. We've also got breaking news this morning that is moving markets. Uh, in the U.K., the new chancellor, Jeremy Hunt, announced he is paring back an energy price cap. Tom, what's your take on that, uh, that along with the other headlines uh, about uh, reversing the tax cut plans it has, has moved the pound, uh, it, is, it is bouncing, and certainly the stock market as well? Well, the, the macro background pushes oil up and pushes oil down, and right now it's probably pushing it up after it's been mostly down in the last 10 days or so. I do think that it's going to be tough, though. I, I think probably we're in a recession, and we're seeing recessionary behavior for all sorts of things in oil. Gasoline demand is down. Uh, heating oil demand is down, and it's going to be down a little bit more because the prices are going to be close to $6 a gallon. So uh, we'll, we'll watch this. But the big event, the thing you should mark your calendars for is December 5th. Right before that, that's when companies are supposed to boycott that Russian oil. And Europe needs Russian oil, whether it's crude or whether it's uh, gas oil and diesel and heating oil. They need it. Yeah, and, and this uh, energy situation, as well as the recession that we're in, uh, has uh, Americans uh, continuing to uh, say that they do not like where the country's going. We have new Fox News polls this morning. It shows 53 percent of voters disapprove of Biden's energy policy. The president is promising relief uh, is coming. Uh, but look, you just laid out the next 50 days. How about longer than that? Uh, because the fact is, is that this administration has the climate change agenda, and that means it, it wants to kill off fossil fuels. Well, longer term, I think we're going to look back on this point in history. And we're going to look back like we look back at smoking cigarettes or traveling on an airplane that allowed, uh, had a non-smoking and smoking section and say, what were we thinking? And I think we're going to say that to the extent that a lot of people, a lot of business leaders out there are supporting a cartel, OPEC Plus, which is MBS and that rogue policy, as well as Russia. And they're going to look back on that and they say, you know, it might not have been good energy policy, but it was certainly not feasible to embrace a cartel. I think all capitalists should abhor a, a cartel. And uh, that's what we have. That's why I don't like the price cap issue, because I think we would be following the same thing. We have a buyer's cartel. All right. We will leave it there. Tom, always a pleasure. Thanks very much for weighing in on all of that. Tom Closer joining us this Thanks. morning. We'll see you soon, Tom.